Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be talking about one of the granddaddy kinds of problems with LLMs that people look to solve that still is not a solved problem, which is document summarization. How do you summarize longer documents that are outside the context window of the model. Now with models like OpenAI and Anthropic that have these mega, mega, mega context windows, some people have just said, well, I'll just throw the whole document in there and I'll get some long summary back. But how do you do this with smaller models that are almost by definition going to have smaller context windows? How do you deal with this problem of summarizing a document bigger than the context window of the model? There are three problems that you typically run into, at least that we always run into. First problem is this sort of batching and chunking problem. We need an automated way to break up that longer document that's bigger than the context window into some nice batches that are gonna fit inside each context window and then make separate calls out to that model. That's the first problem. The second problem then is we're gonna have to put together all those model responses. And this is where things usually break down because you wind up with different formatting. You wind up with the number one, two, three, and then the number one, two, three, or one has bullets and then the other has numbers. Or in one form or another, you can't neatly aggregate the pieces so that it looks like a sensible thing. And then the third problem, which is in some ways the, the biggest one, is that the output that you get, once you've figured out how to put all these pieces together, it's kind of bland, watered down. It just looks and feels like just a list of points. And so how do you figure out how to crack this focusing, focusing of the workflow and focusing of the model on those points of interest so you get back a response that's a little bit more interesting than these sort of generic kind of long lists of, of bullet points. All right, so that's the problem that we're gonna approach. We have this in the examples folder of the LLM or GitHub repository. If you haven't checked this out in a while, we really would encourage you, come back and look at the examples folder. We have over a hundred examples now across just about every single category within in retrieval augmented generation, within LLM-based workflows, local models, voice transcription, parsing, embedding. We've put together a whole set of use case examples, lots of things about how you put things in and out of tables, agents, you know, you name it, chock full of good stuff. Come copy, paste, and run these examples. Now the example that we're gonna be working from is from the models, oops, sorry. It's actually in the prompts folder. And we've come at this a few different times. We've written some new methods that we've put into LLM that we think do probably the best job we've seen so far. But again, we'd encourage everybody to experiment and kind of give us your feedback and, and what your results are. So this is the example. It's a document summarizer. What it really relies on, two things. The first is the slim summary tool, which is a function calling specialized summarization model that's all gonna run locally on your machine. And then it relies on a new method that we've created in prompt. For those who have been following along, we've done a few, few methods about how to summarize a document. This is the one we think is the best and it's summarized document FC for function call. You pass in the folder, the name of your file, a topic if you want, which is a focusing point that actually gets passed to the model as a parameter to say this is the topic of the summary that we're looking for. A query, which is used to filter out among the various text chunks of the model, text chunks of the document. So instead of passing one long document, we might only look at subsets of that document. And then you get a result directly from this one line method. So what we've included are a few different examples. I'm gonna flip over to my IDE and we're just gonna run through some of these examples so you can see some of the output that this generates. So the first example we're gonna run is a very short biography. I think it was actually a student paper that we found out on the internet of the author, J.D. Salinger. It's about four pages long, and we're gonna go run our summary on J.D. Salinger. So this is, again, one of the sample documents that we've provided. You can see we just did a, a quick parsing of the document, so we decomposed the four-page document. In this case, it was a little longer than the context window of the model, so there's actually two batches. So we're taking the first probably three pages of the document and then the fourth page of the document, and we're gonna make two separate calls to the model. So we've just completed the first pass. And again, the beauty of the summarization model being function calling is the output is a Python list. And that Python list then consists of the key points that we're looking at. So there's none of this like a one or a bullet point or multiple complex formatting. It gives it to us programmatically exactly in the format that we would want, which is just give us that list of points we know how many points we've gotten back, and then it becomes a lot easier to start assembling those points. It ran through the second um, text chunk, and then what the method does is it actually concatenates those two lists. And the beauty of it is because it's done as a function calling, because it gives a structured output of this Python list, 
becomes really easy to put the pieces together. And so what you see here is a pretty nice distillation in 11 points that summarize this four-page uh, article on J.D. Salinger gives us a pretty nice net biography. And it was pretty easy. It wasn't real-time. I don't think you'd want to have this um, in, in a real-time chatbot expectation, but probably in 10 or 15 seconds, we were able to go through every step of parsing, batching the document, running two model calls, and then delivering a pretty nice, clean, sensible result. So that's one of the examples. The second example that we're going to look at is from UN Resolutions. Again, this is another one of the sample documents that we include. And what you can look at when you look at these samples is we did include a topic. In this case, it's a very generic topic. Just sort of what are the key points of this? And then we didn't provide any filtering query. So we're actually going to get back. We're going to run through the, the model through every single element of the document. So let's run through this. And likewise, this is maybe a five-page document. You can see it's been chunked and decomposed into three separate batches. It's already been parsed. Each of these three batches then is going to be run through the summary model. The summary model is going to generate that list of the summary key points for us. So you can see it's just completed the first one. It'll complete the next two, and then it'll aggregate it into one single list for us. So we'll wait just a second. All right, we've got the second point. All right, there we go. So it ran through all three of them. We got back nice Python list. That's the output from our function calling model. And then we got a pretty nice distillation of the article. I was a little worried at first when I saw this too, but actually it's just a continuation of part of the text of it, of the two resolutions that were actually included in this. Pretty nice, again, summary that we were able to put together pretty easily locally, chunking the document into three batches and then easily concatenating them together. Next example that we're gonna quickly look at comes at the problem slightly differently. In this one, we're gonna run through one of our favorite sample documents, a, a 15 page employment agreement. And what we're looking for are those executive compensation terms. We wanna know how much are we paying that executive that we've just hired. But we're gonna provide a focusing query in this case of the base salary. Now, the way this is gonna work, we're gonna parse the whole document. We're gonna look for text chunks then that have that query in it. We're gonna concatenate those and only look at the sections, the text chunks that have base salary in it. So we're not looking at the whole document. We're probably bringing it down to about a page or so because we know wherever we're gonna find base salary, that's probably gonna have the information that we're looking for. The topic actually does get passed to the model itself. So we're telling the model we want a summary, but we really want a summary of those executive compensation terms. So now let's run this example and see how this works. Okay, so this parsed the document, broke it up into text chunks, it ran that query of base salary. So we only have one source batch here. It's aggregated all those text chunks that had the word base salary in it. So you can see it runs much, much faster because it doesn't have to make multiple calls to the model. Now, of course, the risk, we might miss key information because we're only looking at a subset of the document. But in this case, we hit the jackpot. We did find um, wherever base salary was tended to have other pretty meaningful compensation terms. So we ran through the inference and look at what we got here, pretty nice. The base salary, the annual bonus, the incentive bonus, and the severance terms all coming back to us um, really nicely. But now what if we don't wanna look at the whole? We don't wanna look at just a chunk. What if we wanna look more holistically at the employment terms? And in this case, we're not gonna pass a focusing query. So we wanna look through the whole document, which means we're gonna to have to look through a whole bunch of different chunks of the document. We're actually gonna run through it, through it a bunch, so we'll, we'll speed up through it. And then we wanna look again at executive compensation terms. We wanna know any of the key terms that are in this agreement that involve executive compensation. So in this case, we're keeping 14 different batches of the document. The document is around 15 pages, so each source fitting in the model context window, it's about one page of text. So each page, we're gonna to have to go through and call the model, and we're gonna get that same summary. So again, this, this will take in real time, I think it's around two to three minutes. We got the first outcome. Now the second one, not found. That's a little unexpected, not found. We passed those key terms, the executive employment terms to the model. We said summarize the executive employment terms. On that page, there weren't any executive employment terms. There was nothing for the model to summarize. So it came back and told us not found. Now that actually solves a huge problem in these long, long summaries is you just wind up getting these long lists of terms that don't have any meaning to you. So by passing in that focusing term into the model as, as a parameter, 
of the summary function calling model, you can see the key points that are coming back are all about the terms of executive employment. And when it couldn't find them, like it couldn't find it in that, that batch one, it just came back and told us not found. And you can see as it's clicking through this, it's things like accrued compensation, base salary, vacation days, severance, good. It actually found in batch six, it didn't find anything relevant to executive employment terms. So it gave us a not found that becomes really, really easy for us to programmatically handle. If we either find a not found or if we find an empty list, we know that we can just skip those items and exclude them then from the summary that we're looking to roll up. So here we go, we've clicked through, we've made 10 calls to the model, 11, almost done. I'm going through all 14, the entire 15 page document. And then as we've shown in the other examples, we're gonna roll the whole thing up so we can see an aggregated uh, view of the key executive employment terms. So we're almost there. Again, you can see in several of these, there, there was nothing found, which is great. This gives us a, a nice view of where key terms were related to executive compensation. And there we go, 24 points that have been um, summarized and extracted from this, and pretty nice from you know accrued compensation, key definitions like cause or, or how taxes will be treated under the agreement, a few key terms like base salary, target bonus, incentive bonus, information about the sale bonus, transition bonus, the vacation days, some expense reimbursement, stock option grant, additional terms around seven, severance, and then in the last few, some additional verbiage um, around how those terms would be enforced. Not too bad. So check out um, this example. Please feel free to start plugging in some of your own documents. We've given you here a few different examples and recipes between using some of those focusing topic terms as well as query in conjunction with this model and this workflow. So share your feedback. Um, we'd love to hear from you on the experiments that you're doing with this and ways that we can keep improving this method. Any questions as always, um, come join us on Discord. Thank you everybody, take care and hope you have a great day.